Hello, hello. This video is going to show you how to add responsive media to your websites. Uh, so embedding video and audio. And by responsive, uh, I mean that it appears at the right size depending on the screen uh, that you are presenting it on. So either the phone, the tablet, uh, or the computer screen. It's a fairly simple process. Um, I have created a tutorial for you, which is available on the course website in a variety of different places. Um, and we're just going to basically follow through on this tutorial. I'm going to walk you through it and um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so in order to do this, we are going to need to have open our uh, portfolio.html or whatever HTML page you are using when you get to the video. Uh, it could be a page just dedicated to video or audio that you have. Uh, we'll also need your main.css uh, open as well. And we're going to be coding in the main section of the main.css. Uh, and the reason for that is we want uh, this styling to apply to each of our uh, phone screens. Here we have my sample portfolio, and your page looks very similar to this if you have these two portfolio items on your page. Um, and what I want to do is create another section of portfolio items on the page uh, below what I've got right here. Uh, so I'm going to go into my code, and um, I'm going to scroll down to underneath uh, that last right floated section, which is right here. And I see my div class clear, and I need to have that in there. And we know that clears are, are necessary after the last floated element. Uh, in our case, right so far, it's the section class equals right, so that content will appear below it properly. So I am going to be including uh, my content in this area, above the body tag, the closing body and the closing HTML for our purposes now are the last two tags on the page. Okay. Now I have already created the skeleton code so that I don't have to do this on the screen, but I will walk through what I have here when I created that skeleton. So I've added a new comment here for a second row of portfolio items. And I like to add these comments when I start having multiple rows of items, of portfolio items, so that I know which row is which. Uh, because we are going to get underneath this, these two photographs, another row of items uh, with a new header uh, as well. Uh, so you can see I have my new header, H2, video and audio. Uh, and yours would probably be more descriptive than that. I've got my section header, H, and my heading. Then I have my section class equals left, and I can use section class equals left again uh, because it is a class, and classes can be used multiple times on the page and will uh, behave exactly the same as the other section class equals left. In my comment, I have second row first portfolio item, so I know that this is the first portfolio item for that page. I have my headers and my heading, and I close my section. Then I start the right one, set comments, header, heading, I close my section, then I have my closing clear, big class equals clear, and then I also have my comment saying I'm ending the second row of portfolio items. And this is a nice little skeleton that I could replicate multiple times if I have a third portfolio row of items, fourth, and, and so on. That's a nice little skeleton. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we need from the tutorial that I have prepared. So first, create the media responsive class, which creates the box to put the video, or the media, I should say, I should say media, uh, the media in. So I'm going to just copy this directly from the sheet and go to my main.css, and I am going to go under the body, I'll say right here, and this is in the main section. Uh, yours might have different numbers and stuff like that, but in my main section, I'm just going to paste that right in there. Now, I found this code via tutorial. Um, I've adapted it slightly for our purposes. Um, 
but somebody did the work to figure out the best way to embed responsive media, and they've provided us with the code. And you can see that I have provided a link to that website right here if you are interested in seeing a little bit more about it. Okay. But that creates this MIDI responsive class that we need. And then we need to style the iframe. Now, all of the things that we are going to be embedding on our pages uh, need to have an iframe. And YouTube uses embed code with iframe. Vimeo does. SoundCloud does. So you should be covered uh, for the, the stuff that you want to, to use. Now, we might not fully understand what these mean, this code, and that is okay. One way that you can start to see what it means is to change some of the parameters in here and see what happens if you change them. You can always change it back, but it's just one way to uh, start figuring out why things are working the way they're working. Uh, one of the great things about the design community, as we've talked about, is that people provide you with code. You can borrow it and then you can adapt it and see how, how it's working. Uh, so I'm going to save this just so I have it completely saved. Now I'm going to go back to my tutorial because I pasted in the things that I need to paste in. Um, create the media responsive class in your HTML. This can go anywhere in the body, um, such as your left and right sections. Okay, so um, I'm going to copy this directly and I'm going to paste it into my portfolio.html. And I'm going to paste it. We're going to, we're going to do both of these at the same time. So I'm going to paste it into my left section here, uh, media responsive, right there, like that. Because uh, I want the, whatever media, the video, which I'm going to have a sample video to appear directly underneath, uh, this heading. And then I'm going to paste it also right here. Uh, in the audio section, because this is I want the audio to appear in this area right there. Um, I'm going to save it so I've got all my work saved. I'm going to go back to the tutorial. Get the embed code from U YouTube. Now I've set up this tutorial, and with so step three has three different sections section A, B, A, B, C, and D. Uh, one shows you how to get the code from Vimeo. Uh, the other one shows you how to get the code from YouTube, and one shows you how to get the code from SoundCloud. And I'll go through that very briefly here uh, as well in the video. And the fourth one is that any, thing, any other um, code from using embeddable, any other site using embeddable media, you can get from, code from as well, and it should, it should work. So I'm going to start by getting some code from YouTube. And there's this great video that I always like to use as a sample, the cat's ringing the bell. <laughs> I love the look that they get on their faces. Okay, so I'm going to click share, embed, copy, and that will copy this code directly. I go back to my HTML, find my video section, and paste it directly into here. That's it. As long as I've got the div class media responsive and which relates directly to this class media responsive and you can see the iframe will style because we have the iframe right here. Now I could have, I'm going to save it. I could have grabbed the code from Vimeo if I wanted to grab the Vimeo. I found this, my kids are into dominoes these days. so. Found this great dom domino video. I could have embedded this video here. I would do share, um, and then I can copy this directly. Copy, and I would have gone to my back here and pasted that in where I have this one here. If I want to have two videos in the same section, I would just do this, so and maybe I'll do that. Um, what I'm going to do actually is class equals media responsive. 
close this div for me. I can just paste that in there. The uh, iframe has some extra stuff uh, that we might, from Vimeo, has some extra things that we might be able to remove, such as this. I do not need that extra stuff. So now I have these two videos on this one side. It's perfectly fine. Um, now I'm going to go back here and just say, okay, well, I want, whoops, sorry, I want to get some audio. And this is an audio project that a former student of mine created. I have permission to use it for these kinds of purposes. I can click Share on SoundCloud and click the Embed. And here is the iframe. I will just copy that. Copy. Go back to my code. Scroll down to where I want that to appear. Just enter. All right. And we'll see how that all shows there. There might be some things in here as well that I can remove. For example, I could remove some of this, although that is styling some of it. So I'm going to keep some of this in here and we can see if there's anything that we can remove. I'm going to save. Okay. I'm going to go to FileZilla. I'm going to upload my portfolio because I made changes to that. I'm going to upload my main.css because I've made changes to that. And I'll go back to my page. Remember, I have to do the hard refresh. Scroll down. And there we have the two videos, and we have the audio. Now, the reason why both of these are appearing so close together on top of each other is because there's no margins. So I will have to go back to my main.css and say, okay, so my media responsive does not have a margin on it. And if I want separation from the one on above and one below, I have to put a margin bottom. And let's just say I'm going to make it 20 pixels. Save it. Refresh. Back to the page. Hard refresh. Scroll down. And now there is some nice separation between these two, those 20 pixels. And now we should be able to see that they, if I go to my responsive design mode and my phone screen, say I'll do iPhone 6, 7, and there they are showing up the exact right size that they should be on the phone screen, and they work. Hello. There's that. 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 So pretty straightforward. Um, getting this all installed, uh, embedded, I'm sorry, and uh, just follow along with the tutorial. It tells you exactly what to do. Uh, and if you have questions or problems, please let me know. Have a great day.